vehicle and the improved streamlining of its wings. The company later offered a light van version, the C4 Commercial, aimed at farmers and small businesses. Ditterman also introduced his first six-cylinder car in 1928, the C6. Reminiscent of a big American car, the C6 had a 2.4-liter side valve engine, producing 45 horsepower and capable of 65 miles an hour. The company sold 11,000 of these before it offered an even bigger, better equipped replacement, the C6F, the next year. By 1929, Citroën had become by far France's largest car maker, with 25% higher production than Renault, his closest competitor. And as the 1930s began, Citroën devoted progressively more time and money to technological innovation much to the concern of the financiers who were funding it. André Citroën's belief in the sales power of advanced design was expressed in his motto, as soon as an idea is good, the money is of no importance. It was a slogan guaranteed to unnerve money men, but it perfectly described Citroën's new car line of 1932, a good idea, costly to produce. The 8CV, 10CV and 15CV collectively carried the nickname Rosalie. They incorporated another new construction idea from the American Bud Company, a unitary frame built without a chassis as foundation. Citroën proved the strength of the unibody construction to a doubtful French public by pushing a Rosalie off a cliff. Rolling one down a hill, and filling a bus with 22 passengers, then setting it on top of the car's roof. The Rosalies also featured an innovation first offered on the C4 and the C6G, rubberized engine mountings designed to reduce noise and vibration. The image of a gliding swan was adopted as the mascot for the technology, called Motor Flotant, floating power. An 8CV with a special streamlined body beat the world's distance record by traveling the equivalent of seven laps around the globe. Its nickname was Petite Rosalie. Ogni giorno la rete globale di computer Fino a voi 